In this video, what I'll show you is how you can create some really complicated combinations of Zoom and OBS by using a second computer. Now, the second computer I'm going to be using is actually a Chromebook, nothing more than a Chromebook. And you can get Chromebooks for as little as $150 or even less than that. You can even get a basic Windows machine for just about that much. So a very inexpensive computer. Both of my computers are connected to the same Zoom call. And one other thing that I'm and what I'm using to get the other computer into my main computer is actually a device just like this. I talked several times about the Camlink, the Elgato Camlink. It's a converter that gets HDMI in one side coming out of the laptop and puts USB on the other side, so it behaves just like a webcam. Well, the Elgato uh, Camlink uh, 4K specifically costs about $130. And in case you don't want to spend $130, I bought this device for about $20. No brand name, but what it does is it gets HDMI on one side. Make sure that it gets 180p uh, resolution, 180p 30 frames per second. You don't need 60 frames per second. You're not going to use 60 frames per second. The next thing you're going to do is take the HDMI output of that laptop, that cheap laptop, take it into this device and then connect this device through USB, preferably at least USB 2. My preference is always to have USB 3 that has higher rate and can support video much better and take it in as a camera. I'm going to show you when I get it in what it looks like uh, when it shows up in OBS. We're going to bring it into OBS. The next step is going to be to start bringing things, including the external computer, into OBS. I'm showing you OBS. Uh, here is an interesting thing. The record capture tool that I have is a free tool that comes with Windows. And this tool is actually invoked. It's an Xbox tool that comes up when you hit, when you hold the Windows button on the keyboard. It's the second from the left in the bottom and the G for games button. When you hold both of them together, you open up a screen capture and I have the screen capture right now capturing the screen where I have uh, my OBS. So now we're creating a new scene. I created a new scene called two computers. There's nothing there as you can see. And I'm going to start adding things. And the first thing that I'm going to add is going to be a video capture device. The first video capture, I've already defined my camera. So I'm going to add my camera. That's the first one. So here I am on the camera. You can see that chroma key is still, if I look at filters, chroma key is active, which is why you don't see the green screen behind me. And uh, I'm going to add one more. And the other one, again, it's going to be a video capture device. And I have already defined it before the HDMI external, that's how I called it. So I'm going to call it HDMI external. And this is what's coming from the other laptop. This comes from the second laptop. So let me make this smaller. Let me make this one smaller. You can see how I can play with it. Maybe that's, that is going to be the way to do it. Everything you see here is exactly what I can see on this other laptop. By the way, I've muted the other laptop because what I don't need here is feedback between two computers because the two computers are here at the same time. Now, uh, just to show you what HDMI external has, if I go into the uh, properties of it, uh, it's USB video. That's uh, that that was uh, how it appeared. This little device that I showed you, this is how it appeared uh, in my um, stream here in my USB stream. And I'm going to say, okay, uh, there are no filters. I'm actually going to add something because you can see that we see a lot of stuff around the window and I really just wanna capture the zoom window. So how about if we do, uh, we add crop, by the way, I have a lot of uh, plugins here and a lot of uh, filters, which I'll talk about in uh, at a different time. Uh, in a different video. So I'm going to add the crop and pad and just like I did in the past, on the left, I think something like 120, maybe more, 200, more, 250, even more, 280. And I pretty much captured the left side of it. Um, you know what, maybe even too much, 275, that's perfect. 
I'm going to assume at the top, maybe 100. 100 seems too much. 80. It takes some playing with it. 50, still too much. I do want to capture, you know what? I don't want to capture the uh, top line that says zoom. So how about 80 again? Uh, again, it's a little too much. 70. I want to go down until I see the white line. Still don't. At 40, I see the white line. At 50, I did not. 45 looks perfect. On the right side, I'm going to assume 275. It looks like 275. I'm going to... Oh, this is an important part. You can see that it says mirroring. You have to actually go in the uh, whatever the other computer is and make sure in the settings that you are projecting to that HDMI. Otherwise, nothing comes out of that laptop or Chromebook. Heck, it can even be an Apple. You, you can, whatever, the other computer can be a completely different computer. So I needed to make sure that I am mirroring. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to mirror what's on the screen. Let's look at the bottom of this now. Uh, the bottom, I think uh, maybe we need 100. Do I want to capture the bottom line? You know what, maybe I do. So uh, how about 80? I can still see a sliver here. So maybe we'll do 85. See, with 85, I can get the name. And I really got the essence of the Zoom window in the other computer. I'm going to close here. And this is what I'm going to be bringing in. Now, if I went to the other computer and said, instead of gallery view, I wanted to have any other kind of view, I could have any other view, uh, I'll put a speaker view. And nice thing about the speaker view is that whoever speaks is going to be the person that occupies that left portion of the screen. Again, you know, I, I may say that we don't want to get the thing that's on the top. It's really up to you if you want to capture it or not. So I can go back to filters and back to crop and say, you know, I just take off the entire top. Let's see if 200 would do the trick. Almost 220. Not that was too much. 220, maybe even slightly more. 222, 225, 225. All I'm catching on the on the uh, that window, which is going to be on my left, is what's coming out of Zoom. So this is what comes out of Zoom, and you can see timing issues because what you get from one camera is not necessarily what the other people on the other side of the Zoom call see. But this is how I bring, this is my current computer, and uh, I can add some background. Uh, the left one is actually the default background that I had for Zoom, but I can bring any other type of background. I'll just go to image and maybe bring the back brick. I think I like that one. Of course, I'm going to have to lower it to the bottom. And now, <coughs> You see us both, and maybe the, the best thing is to move, to put me down here and put the other window up here or even bigger because I'm not occupying the whole thing. This, this is how you can play with it. So here is what we did. We took a second laptop. This is our second laptop. We took the HDMI output through a converter, HDMI to USB, brought it into the first laptop, brought it into a scene through OBS, and now that's what I get. This is how you can connect two computers for OBS and Zoom. Whatever I'm going to share with Zoom is obviously what you are going to see here on the other computer, but not necessarily here. It gives you a lot of play. I can think of many things that I can do with that, but I'm going to let your creativity play. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe to my channel and get notified when I release more videos like this. Also, check out my resources for speakers at thediyspeaker.com.